Hey guys, welcome back to another Poke Crossings video. I'm Charlotte, and in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking all things bug off. I'm going to give you top tips to make sure you get maximum points and what you need to expect for the day. So, as always, guys, just really quick if you're new here, we drop daily Animal Crossing videos, so please consider hitting the subscribe button. We're trying to reach 150 subs by the end of the month, so help me out. Right, guys, so bug off. It's the 27th, which is this Saturday, and the event runs from 9 till 6 all day. And what you'll find is Flick will be here with like his stall up, very similar to the fishing tourney. He'll have a stall and he'll be based here. You've got a few, it like literally runs exactly the same way as a fishing tourney. So you've got three minutes to catch as many bugs as you possibly can in that time frame. You get bonus points if you catch more than three bugs in the time slot. And then once you've times up you can obviously sell those bugs to flick for the increased price and you can then swap your any points you've accumulated for a prize so pretty much it's just uh, exactly the same as the fishing fishing tourney there's a whole host of, of like um, things you can get for your points so you've got wallpapers furniture items flooring and obviously the trophies as well. My personal favourite is the butterfly wall. I'm going to try really, really hard to try and get that butterfly wall. But you can see as I bring them up on the screen, guys, there's quite a big variety. There's like the ladybird rug as well. That's pretty cool. So there's a few things that you can collect. So it's worth doing it a few times. Your first entry is free. So Flick will tell you you can enter for free for the first time. And every entry after that is 500 bells. And you can also do it, you can also play multiplayer. So if you want to get your friends over, help each other out, and you get bonus points as well for that. And everybody kind of gets the points. So it's a really good way to rack up the points and rack up the items if that's what you are going to try and do. So that's kind of like the basic stuff now. So that's kind of what it is, what to expect. Now we're going to move on to the tips and tricks. So this is where it really kind of is going to really help you to maximize your points and get as many as possible so you don't have to redo it many times because your points do accumulate to get the prizes but you know at least you don't want to have to be doing it every time because you're only getting one or two points each time so first trick is between now and saturday you want to start praying that it's not raining because i don't know about anybody else but my island since we've turned into summer has done nothing but rain and like honestly it's it's crazy so you want to pray that it doesn't rain because obviously the bug spawn rates are much lower in the rain so we don't really want that number two is you can start getting yourself ready by planting a few areas of flowers now it doesn't have to be kind of ex as extent as this but if you have a few flower beds like this and then another one in kind of a different frame of view what will happen is the bugs tend to spawn, or you tend to get loads of bugs spawning in a place where there's no characters. So if you've got a couple of different areas that are full of flowers that are relatively close together but further enough apart that they're kind of like out of shot, you can kind of explore this area, you can catch as many bugs as possible. And then, we, for example, we could run over here, we could get the bugs from here, and then we could run up here, and we could get the bugs from here. And that way you've got three or four really solid areas where there should be a lot of butterflies spawning and a lot of like the mantises and beetles as well. So yeah, that's kind of like, I guess that kind of fills in my two, tip, two tips that one. So one, plant loads of flowers because obviously bugs spawn where the flowers are. And two, don't stay in one place at one time because if you stand here like this and you catch, say you catch two or three bugs, then nothing else is probably going to spawn then for until you move out of that area and then move back into it. So it's much better if you're productive, so you're always moving from one flower area to another to really increase your chances of getting maximum spawn rates so you can just catch them all. Boom, boom, boom. And then, yeah, finally, guys, just make sure you've got a couple of spare nets. So it, on your tool ring, just have a couple of nets, and then that way if one breaks... 
you've got another one to hand straight away and you're not having to waste some of that three minute time period running all the way back to Nook's Cranny to try and buy another net. So I always have like, when it's the tourneys, I always have like two or three of the tool on me and then that way it's just, I'm not wasting any time and I'm super productive. So they're my top tips. I wanna know in the comments guys, are you excited for the tourney like is it something you want to get involved in or are you not going to bother and what piece of furniture or item are you most kind of going for like i said i'm going for that butterfly wall so i'd love to hear what you guys have got to say as always i'll see you in tomorrow's video guys bye <laughs>